Throughout February, we are profiling black business owners on NJ Business Beat as we mark Black History Month. We'd like to introduce you to Nika and Albin Corbett. They've created a business out of promoting and selling products created by black and brown entrepreneurs. They started by offering a unique subscription box and now have a store in Morristown. I talked with them about their company, Curate Noir. Welcome to NJ Business Beat. It's great to have you both on the show. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Tell me how the two of you came up with the idea for your business, where you feature products made by black and brown entrepreneurs. Um, actually, during the pandemic, what we had was a subscription box service where we debuted different black and brown owned businesses for about almost two years. And from there, people were really interested in the different products that they've never heard of before. So we figured maybe this might be an opportunity to open a store where we can debut more and get more people, you know, engaging with products that they're not necessarily familiar with. And Alvin, how did the whole business go? I mean, it was an idea. It was launched. Now you're moving into a store. Tell me a little bit about how your revenues look and what your future looks like. Well, our revenues look great. Our future is bright. Um, one of the great things that we were able to do during that pandemic was bolster a subscription-based box business. Um, started from their Black-owned business box. And then out, outside of sourcing um, Black businesses, um, we found the niche within it in multi-other communities um, that people want to kind of just forecast, have the ability to kind of uh, share their products. So we give them a retail space, um, give them opportunities to tell their story, and then we amplify that story similar to how we are doing right now. And Nika, the stories are important. How do the vendors interact with you? Do they find you or do you seek them out? So we do host different events here at the Morristown Mall. We host them at Cherry Hill Mall. And at those events, we come in contact with people that we may not have sourced ourselves or referred to us. Then we have people who just walk in the mall and say, hey, I have a product. I think this would be a good idea for me as well. So we, And then we have people who refer. So it comes from all different angles. Nika, tell me about some of the products in particular. What is the scope of products that you currently sell or provide in the box? We are a really more of a gift shop. So we have things from beauty products. We have candles. We have uh, t-shirts, we have books, we have edibles, we have a lot of different things. And we also, people do send us requests if they're looking for something or they've seen something that they do like. We do source from different small businesses to actually get that on the shelf as well. And have you found that customers are really seeking out a local experience. They want to support black and brown entrepreneurs. And perhaps when they go into any other store, it, it's hard to know where those products have come from. Um, we do a lot of marketing to let people know shop local, we're here. And we do get that local market that does come through because they know maybe their friend is on the shelf. Um, but we do also find that with the marketing, we get people from all different areas. We have people who will travel just from Philly to New Jersey just to shop in our shop because they want to support Black-owned businesses or Brown-owned businesses. Well, I'll tell you what, it was so great to hear about the business. I'm so happy you joined me, and I wish you the best of success going forward. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.